Bafetu I'm a farmer right here and we are at AAT or Africa Agritech which essentially is a technology conference. Now the key takeout from this conference is to teach people about technology, how it can help on their farms and on their businesses. Now we happen to catch up with some of the people that you know that we are going to be speaking to here at Amafama. Ladies and gents, AAT. look at technology I think in agriculture that's also very important you know you must adapt to change and what's going to drive change in the future it will be technology and you know to make efficient use of technology to to use your limited resources uh, to the best ability that will be key for survival in, in agriculture in future but fair to AAT or Africa Agritech Day 2. You know us at Amafam Ratadilo, we want to talk to you guys, we want to talk to the young people and see how they're finding their conference. Anyway, please introduce yourself, my brother. Greetings to everyone. It's your boy of of the day, Refilio Tapelo, a proud founder and CEO of Farmers Lovers. I'm here at Agritech uh, to come and enjoy, learn and experience. Thank you. Greetings everyone, my name is Fumane Malungana. I'm a student at the University of the Free State. I'm currently doing my master's. Uh, Farmers Lovers and Sai gave us this opportunity just to come and engage with the industry and we've been enjoying the too. I love the fact that they talk to you guys and not to me. Mare, I'm the one who actually invited them. Hey, Luna. Hey. Anyway, let's start with you, my brother. So how are you finding the conference? I mean, this is day two. I'm, I'm honestly enjoying the conference. I'm finding it interesting because it's all about technology and the world of AI. And I'm honestly learning a lot of things at this at this conference and getting to know what the future holds for us and how we can get to merge agriculture and technology together. So what I've taken away from anybody, to, actually today was Peter. Peter really made my world. At first I was someone who was scared to use AI, but as the talks were going, they were like, don't be scared to use AI because that's the future. So for me to be a better farmer in the future, I just have to make AI uh, my friend, like uh, Mu, I can't remember his name. Yeah, he said um, AI should be a, a, your Iron Man of the heart. You should be Tony Stark, actually, yeah. <laughs> you should be Tony Stark. Jens, thank you so much for coming through. Ne? Okay. Lemichu is a food manufacturing company. Um, we are more in the secondary um, production, um, so we are called agro-processors. So what we do is we have a range of condiments, which is your spices and sauces that we produce and supply to retail stores. We are at AAT today to get more insight on technology, um, how best to improve our production and innovative ways to actually support farmers in terms of what they are trying to produce for the country. The response has been amazing. People love the products. Um, we've actually made excellent sales here. Um, we've also sponsored the event where people got to taste the products while they were served their meals. So everybody is now engaging more in terms of how do you make the products and what's inside the product and they're just fascinated about the taste. So technology is really reshaping how this whole industry works, you know, in terms of increasing productivity, uh, the processes and, and ways and methodologies of actual farming. We really can't be farming the way our fathers and forefathers and foremothers were farming uh, a century ago. Um, and it's so critical for small scale farmers to not be left behind in this process, you know. Uh, we live in an era where we are dealing also with disaster management, changing climate and weather patterns. The ability to actually collect data to predict what is coming um, helps us to also be a lot more resilient and sustainable as small-scale farmers. But it's also about accessing market and there are so many uh, new platforms um, and, and solutions that are being made available to aggregate uh, you know, product from small-scale farmers and get it to where it needs to be. And, and I really think we need to move with the times and so that's why even in my speech today I focused a lot on, on what tech can really do uh, for small-scale farmers. Uh, from Nourish Nature Farm. Uh, so this day uh, for me, it was pretty amazing. And uh, there were incredible speakers. The, the information they gave us just amazing. 
Why should small scale farmers be more engaged with technology in order to help their businesses? Technology is not an enemy. <laughs> uh, it, it fits where you are. When you are small, if you have less information, but the information about your, your business will be able to help you. And technology will be able to help you when you feed it, whatever information that you are feeding it. I think that Africa Agritech is such a fantastic platform. I've learned so much here and especially for, uh, for Farmers Weekly, taking that information and putting it together and letting our readers know more about what is happening in the agricultural sector. I felt that this was, again, it was such a great platform to learn about technology, learn about in innovation, but also just get an outside perspective from the international speakers as well and what's happening uh, in agriculture worldwide. I'm a processor of gambu juice. It's made out of a indigenous crop plant named okra. It's also known, known as gambu or lady's finger. I started processing this during COVID-19 as I couldn't go out for farming. And that's when I started venturing into food processing with it because of the health, the great health benefits thereof. I was just listening to the MEC now, and I loved what she is saying, that even if you are small, you can make a difference. You can make an impact as long as you know what you want so that you can be able to grow. So that's what I'm taking home, that where I am, I can make an impact and grow bigger and bigger as long as I dream big and believe in myself. AAT, last day, day number three. And I'm here with... Zamukolo Tenjue Matungandaba, also known as Mediti on the streets. If you know, you know. Uh, okay, so I want to know, <laughs> hey, who, who, who is the, who's the host here, me or you? I... <laughs> How did you find the conference so far? Look, the conference has been amazing. Look, nothing short of amazing. And I'm not joking. This is not one of those typical, like, where you're like, oh, it's been great. It's been absolutely wonderful. No, genuinely. Um, all the exhibitors mm. and um, all the speakers. And generally, the crowd of people here have been very good, very open and everyone has been quite insightful, really willing to share knowledge and the lovely food and the refreshments that we've been getting. I've never been to a conference where I've been so well, you know, catered for and taken care of. Shout out to Tabby over here. Shout out to uh, I'm a Farmer podcast. Um, yeah, and shout out to everyone that came out, and, you know, and, and really brought their energy and brought themselves because that's what contributed to making it this, you know, wonderful event that I really feel like it was a success. Yeah. Now, you've been at AAT for three days because I did see you here for a whole three days. So how did you find the whole experience? Yeah, it was breathtaking. I didn't know that uh, there was a huge gap with, in terms of knowledge of me being the, the youngster here and also it was very informative because the way our future is shaping and also with the shape of agriculture and how we as the youth can also interfere there it's really interesting to learn and also be learning from the giant people that are already doing the most not only in south africa because we had guests from like all over the world so that was a really great experience and like the network here it's something that can last for a lifetime <laughs>